Hello, my friends. Hattie here with Honey Bee Stampers. I'm going live for our happy hour. It is Sunday, March 24th, and I'm excited to bring you a really sweet and simple card here featuring some brand new online exclusive product. I also have a couple unboxings to do with you today, and then kind of like a little show and tell. I've got um, some of the projects, actually all of the projects that we made this past Saturday at our shoebox swap. So that was super fun. A shoebox swap, I've been asked this a couple times now, what is a shoebox swap? So this is um, essentially an event that I do for demonstrators who come to the studio here. And what we do is we design, or you could even case. So case means to copy and share everything. So if you see a project that's really amazing on Pinterest or YouTube or something like that, then you can case that project if you wanted to, or you could design your own project. You design the project, so like I designed this one right here, you cut and prep as much of it as you can, and you take all of the product that you need to create that card, and you put it in a quote-unquote shoebox. So this is like my shoebox, I guess. So maybe when this first started back in the day, uh, people actually used real shoeboxes, but you could use any type of box, however you want to carry it to the event. And then we sit around and pass these box pass these boxes around and we put together everybody's projects and it's super fun. It's a great way to socialize with each other, get to know each other a little bit better and just have a lot of fun. So this is the project that I designed and I will be putting this together for us tonight as my project. I like to put together a project and then I share it um, in email as well as on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, hello, thank you so much. I've got some um, new subscribers to YouTube, so welcome and I appreciate you so much for your comments and your liking, sharing, subscribing, all the things. So let's introduce this product first. Um, before we jump into this, let me tell you about my host code. So our host code, is XQZ3RXVW. Okay, so that's a lot. <laughs> I'll I'll post it. And actually, I might have posted it already. I'll have to look. I think I posted the March host code, and I think it's the same one. So um, anyways, you can look over on my, on my online store. You can check the email. The email will always have the host code on there. But this just allows me to track um, my orders, and then I get credit for your order. And PSA, um, the new catalogs are coming out. And if you want one of these new catalogs, a compliment, complimentary catalog for me, you can either um, come to my Sweet and Simple Card class this Saturday coming up. You can attend um, the Card Club this Tuesday coming up. Um, or you can place an order. Any size order with me is going to guarantee that you get a catalog for me. Okay? So there's that. Um, also, I have the option if you don't want to place an order and you just want the catalog to even see if there's things in there that you would want, then you can place a catalog request order and I will post that on my Facebook page um, and I'll post it under my YouTube blurb as well so you can scroll down and find that. It's $10 that you pay for the catalog and then I ship it to you, but then the very first order that you place with me, you get $10 off. So essentially the catalog is free. So let's see if I can hop over onto my Honeybee Stampers site and um, see if anybody's watching. For some reason, Facebook wants to act silly. Okay, there we are. Okay. Hi, Tina. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Franny. I'm glad you guys are all here. Good evening. Okay, so let's talk about this product. So this is a brand new online exclusive. So you go online to my online store and you can see all the online exclusives. And um, here, we'll start with the paper, always my favorite. It's called a Little Latte Designer Series paper. You can see I've been cutting into it a little bit. So we'll just kind of flip through the patterns. Aren't those fun? Okay, we got little bits and pieces here. There's that piece. There's the larger piece of that. Flip through, I love this one. So this has little tiny coffee cups and spoons. Beautiful here, this artwork. A little plaid action, some coffee beans. Some more coffee beans and some swirls. So that is the designer series paper that's part of this suite of products. And then we've got a great little stamp set. So we've got this one that's called Latte Love. 
and you've got this photopolymer stamp set here. And then you've got these dies that are also called Latte Love. And so they create really amazing um, little images. They'll cut out some of the product here, but then they also do some standalone images as well. So that's the product. There are some embellishments. I believe these are sold out. Embellishments are sold out right now, but they will be coming back. Um, I believe in April. I have to go back and check my inventory status report on that. But here are some really cool swirl. I think, what are they called? Adhesive back swirl dots. So love that. And then what else did I want to tell you? Oh, there's ribbon that also coordinates with this suite of products. It's kind of like a thicker burlap ribbon with a bunch of white dots on it. Gave it away at my last team meeting, so I don't have that to show you. But this is the project that we're going to create. And then at the end, I'm going to show you guys the projects that we created um, from some of the other stampers that came to the shoebox club. Let's set that to the side for a second. Uh, let's see. When they come to the shoebox swap, I'll give everybody a little cello bag with their name on it. And then I put my projects in here. Uh, we created two projects this time around because we just had uh, six of us that joined together. And so to make the day fun and full, we decided to do two projects each. So let me set that to the side. And here are the pieces. I did already cut the designer series paper for, um, for the shoebox swappers, but for today I'll actually cut it along with you guys. So I took some Lost Lagoon cardstock and just cut it in half and scored it at five and a half. So that's an 11 by four and a fourth piece of Lost Lagoon. And we'll fold this in half. <clears throat> Let me find our designer series paper for this. So we're going to use um, this piece. We're going to need, I should have pulled them out sooner. We're going to need one of these. Let's see here. What else? I think, yep, that, that. And then we need some of that, those pink coffee beans. Um... Where did that go? Okay, well, we'll just use that sheet right there. Okay. So for this piece right here, you're going to want to cut this down um, to five and a fourth by four inches. And I wanted the stripes to go across, so you're going to want to measure this with the stripes horizontal first at four inches. Okay, and then you'll turn it and measure at five and a fourth. Okay. And then this little coffee beans, these little coffee beans here, this paper, we're gonna measure this one at four and a fourth. This one really isn't directional, so. We'll do four and a fourth here. And then we'll turn it and do two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. There we go. And then we'll need this piece right here. We're gonna cut this down to three inches. And then three and a half inches. Okay, those are our DSP pieces that we need. Set that to the side. Okie doke. Now we've got those pieces good. Let's do a little stamping. I'm gonna grab some scrap paper here. And we are going to stamp this coffee cup image in Calypso Coral. And while we've got this paper here, we might as well in pumpkin pie stamp our sentiment because we're actually going to fussy cut this out. So I'll just stamp it right here. There we go. I'm going to bring in some stamping blends to color in our coffee cup. 
And we've got Stampin' Blends that are light and dark. Um, some of the some of them are a little bit beat up, but let's start with the dark. I'm going to uh, use the bullet tip here to kind of highlight some of the areas that have some detail that the artists have already um, identified as a detail work there. We got this here. And I don't know if you guys got my PSA that I just recently put out that there's going to be price increases on several of the things uh, in the Stampin' Up! catalogs and online exclusives, I believe starting May 1st. And so one of the things that are going up are the Stampin' Blends. So if you love these alcohol markers, then you're going to want to stock up on them because they're going to have a price increase as well. Okay, so we'll start off like that. I know that looks messy. And you know what, before I color anymore, let me stamp the inside before I mess that up. Okay, so you've got this little tiny stamp that looks like some coffee. And we're gonna ink that up. And I'm just gonna stamp it right there. All right. Now I can color around that little spot right there. All right, we're bringing in our light. And unfortunately, like I said, sometimes the, my markers get beat up when I use them in classes. The reason I like to do the, lar the dark and then the light is because it allows me to blend the colors a little bit. And the sooner that you color it, the better. It blends a lot easier um, if you do it kind of quickly instead of waiting. At least that's been my experience. Color this all around. I'm concentrating. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a nice Sunday. I've had major allergy attack and it almost feels like I can't tell if I have a cold coming or if it's just allergies. Okay, I really blended this quite a bit because it's the lines are a little bit more blurred, but um, you can see here how the coffee cup could look. Um, if I wanted to put, make a little bit more detail, then I could bring back in my darker color here. and then blend it again with my lighter color. And as it kind of dries a little bit, you'll be able to see the detail come back in there. Okay, so that's good enough. There's my coffee cup. Let me go ahead and run this through our die cutting machine. So remember I mentioned last week that I wanted to go over the die cutting machine a couple times. I think the die cutting machine is also going to be getting a price increase. So make sure you grab yours if you don't have one already. And we'll just place our little coffee cup die right over the top here. And then if you wanna make sure that it doesn't move while you're running it through, you can use a little bit of washi tape. Run that through. I honestly, definitely think that you need a die cutting machine because this die cutting machine also allows you to oops, emboss um, all the things so that you just aren't limited when you're crafting. Set that over there. Okay, now for the sentiment, I'm going to fussy cut this out. So for this fussy cut, um, nothing, you know, nothing too precise here. Just kind of move the paper around and 
cut, cut this out. I tried when I was designing this to just stamp it on a, on a strip of cardstock, which also works, but I don't know. I just think it looked a lot better when I cut it a little bit closer to the sentiment. So this Tuesday is my card club in that we do. Um, last week I featured one of the, a project that features some of the product that we're going to be using, be using for card club, but, um, we have that this Tuesday and then the club, those of you who ordered the club to go, it gets mailed out after the card club. I find that it's, um, it's great because when we do the card club in person, if there's anything missing or if there's anything wrong with the kits, I'm able to fix it before I mail them out to our long distance friends. Later tonight, I'm going to show you the project that I made for um, my card club members as a gift. So if you are a card club member and you've been a member with me for six months in a row, which means you've collected six little honeycombs, um, I'm going to start putting this card together while I'm talking about that, then you will get a little gift from me. So I'm going to show you guys the really cute gifts that I um, am giving out for my first round. I've actually mailed most of them, um, and some of them are gonna get them on Saturday when they come to class. Okay, so there's that first layer. We're just gonna add that on. And then this one, I wanted to just kind of tilt it to the side a little bit like that, make it a little askew, and then we'll add some adhesive to this one. And this one is going to be a little bit straighter. Or it could be askew as well. Totally up to you. Okay. And then we've got this die cut piece right here is from the um, suite of products that I showed you last week. What is it called? Thoughtful Expressions. It's also the product that we're, you, we're going to be doing for club this month. So on Tuesday, you guys got to play with this a little bit more. Um, we've got some little splatters here. And I'm just going to do... This is Lost Lagoon as my base, but I felt like there's a little bit of pool party in there with that ombre effect. So we're just gonna splatter some pool party. I think this little splatter is going to be a great thing for Halloween too. When Halloween comes around, can't you imagine some of the little Halloween treats you can make with this like blood splatter? Okay, so there's that. We'll add some dimensionals here. I'll use these little tiny ones, I guess. Which dimensionals do you guys like better? Do you like the little tiny ones, the little mini ones, or do you like the regular size? Just out of curiosity, what everybody's preference is. Okay, you're gonna take the backing off of here and we're just going to center that. There we go. And then let me grab some glue dots. Okay. I'm going to use our glue dots to put the ribbon on. Our glue dots are the best. These are also going up in price, so make sure you stock up on these. And then this ribbon right here is from the annual catalog, and it's just fabulous. I use it. I've been using it a lot. You can actually even pull it apart and make the strings smaller, thinner. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with that. All right, so now we're going to grab our dimensionals. And apply our coffee cup here. And then our sentiment. I'm going to add a little glue on this end. Okay. And right there, that works. Okay. And now let's add our gems. So if you've never used your take your pick tool before, um, basically you can use it for a lot of things. It's pretty multi-purpose, multi but I'll just turn the knob a little bit and the putty on that end will start to escape. And you use the putty to be able to pick up 
your gems like this and so that you can actually have some precision when you're putting your embellishments down. It's actually quite easy. I don't use it as often as I probably should, but when you've got these um, great adhesive back gems like this, or even the loose gems, those that's when this is really a great tool, is when you've got the loose gems that you're trying to pick up. Okay, there's our project. Super simple and cute featuring that new online exclusive. Make sure you check that out. Um, today, I definitely have some unboxings that I want to do. Uh, let me start by, before I go into that, let me show you the other projects that we created at our little shoebox swap get together. So we, I got this, this box from Shelly um, Bemis. She's so sweet. She came to the class. This was one of the shoe boxes that she used and then she gave it to me as a little gift. So here are our projects. So here's the other card that I designed. I wanted to feature some brand new product that's also online exclusive. Um, this embossing folder here is one and then also this here um, with these great little this great little die uh, it's a really great card and I felt like it was you know masculine and that's always something we're looking for masculine cards so these two cards here were brought by Jeanette um, so Jeanette um, Clark came and she's pretty new stamper with us and so so happy that she's just jumped in and started stamping right away and joining the shoebox swap is just incredible so this card right here these two cards right here were brought to us by susan edwards so susan Whit uh, whitfield edwards brought these cards in the um this one i believe was a case and she just kind of modified it a little bit and changed the colors she also how cool was this she brought in two brand new colors that are coming out in the new catalog so um, these two colors here are brand new um, very beautiful bright i can't wait to start playing with the new in colors and speaking of in colors don't miss out on collecting all that you need for the current uh, the current in colors that are going out um, so that's the Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide, uh, let's see here, Parakeet Party. Let me grab a couple of them. I'll grab the markers. So here are the in colors that are going away. They're going to be retiring. And what happens is once they, we get closer to retirement time, everybody just buys all of this stuff up. And so if you wanted anything that coordinates with these, make sure you grab them before they're gone, okay? Okay, so... This cute little cow, oh, isn't that adorable? This one was brought to us by Terry Wilson. And she also brought us um, one of these little eggs. This is a case that she did um, from Julie DiMatteo. So just an adorable little egg treat holder here. So there's that. And two, great minds think alike because uh, we actually had another little egg treat holder that um, also from Julie that Shelly brought with, uh, with her. And then Shelly also brought this really cool card. And I can't remember who she said she um, was inspired by or case this from. I can't re quite remember. But how cool is this card? I love that. And it's a really a cool little fun fold. And then um, she also, Shelly also gave everybody a little treat. One of these little Circe's and it has little mini Tic Tacs in it. How cute is that? I just love that. So I love these little 3D Circe's. And so that's so nice that we got those. And then Charlene Silvestri Yuhas brought these two projects. So this one is a fun fold. Look at that cool fun fold. We always love to see Charlene coming because we know she's going to create some like amazing projects. And then we've got this one right here that she also designed. So super cute. So those were our projects from the Shoebox Swap. Such a fun event. If you are a demonstrator, you're local to me, make sure that you... Um, mark your calendar because our next one is going to be on August 31st and we're going to be featuring or focusing our attention on the new holiday catalog. So our projects will be featuring those pro um, that product. Okay, so let's set this to the side in my cute little new box that I just got. Okay, let me bring in something. Uh -huh. Okay, so Lovely Lavender was the January paper pumpkin kit. And I unboxed this before and I showed it to you, but I wanted to show you an alternate sample that I created as part of a gift that I gave to my club members. 
Um, so there's that. Oh, here are the, the Love of Spring dies. I think these are still available for Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So if you want to get your hands on these exclusive dies for the first quarter, make sure you do that. I'll tell you the number. Um, it's 163396, or you could just type in the Love of Spring dies and it'll pop up. So here are just, I like to keep all of my elements together. So just like that. Um, let me show you the projects that this kit actually created. So you could create a card that looked like this, a card that looked like this, and then there were these like gift tags. So I took the gift tags and I created these fun little pouches that would hold our bone folders. So a bone folder is an absolute must when it comes to crafting. And so I got everybody a Stampin' Up! bone folder and I had their names engraved. So um, the person who engraved them for me is actually local to Sumter and her uh, business is called Memory... Um, memory lane and lane as an l-a-i-n-e so cute um and they actually have a shop over at the bx over on um on shaw's air force base so and i think they're online as well so she engraved those for me um, with the name so there's louisa's she'll get those when i see her and then jenny Jennifer, and then all everybody else's I've already mailed to them or, gave, or given to them that are card club members. So just a little perk for joining the card club and sticking around for your several months, okay? So that's something I wanted to share with you guys, my little alternate sample. Oh, and as you can see, <laughs> this is basically the tag. This is the tag, and then I just stamp just a little something for you, which comes from this paper pumpkin kit great sentiment. So that was my alternate sample there. Okay. And I'll share a still picture of that so you can see it. So let's talk about, um, our new paper pumpkin kit. So the love of spring dies was the exclusive die set for the first three months, the first quarter. Now they've come out with the second exclusive dies that are going to be for the next three months of paper pumpkin. So we're looking at, um, it'll be coordinating with the uh, April, May, and June kits. Okay. And here it is. Isn't that just adorable? So we've got the thanks, large thanks die. We've got this great, like, um, what shape is that? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. hexagon? Oh gosh, my son knows that this kind of stuff better than I do. Anyways, and then we've got these um, these butterflies, one that cuts an outline and one that does some detail. So that's awesome. I think it's only $12. It's called Thanks and Beyond Dies. You have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to be able to get that. So reach out to me if you want some help with that. So there's that. Now, the March kit which would coordinate with the love of spring dies. I'm kind of bouncing back and forth, sorry. So with these dies here, this one I just got in the mail a while ago. Um, this one is the one to celebrate every March is Stampin' Up's birthday, uh, Paper Pumpkin's birthday, I should say. And so they give out a free stamp set. So here's the free stamp set that we got. It's huge and I love it because it's two-step stamping. I can't wait to create some projects with this. And then here is the stamp set that came with the kit. So we can see it a little bit better. The <clears throat> ink spot is Garden Green. We'll be able to see the stamp set a little bit better because they always include um, a little piece of paper with it. So here it is. This is my first look at it. Memorable Meadows is what it's called. And it's really pretty. So let's open this up and just take a look at it. <clears throat> never find where I lay my, oh, there they are, my scissors. Okay. <clears throat> so we're just going to cut right down there. Let's see what's included in this. Okay. First of all, you're going to get dimensionals and glue dots, which I love. And then you've got some great little um, adhesive back sequin right there. Ooh, how pretty is this? Oh, wow. That's interesting. So you've got a card that's got some designing design on both sides. So that's neat. 
Here are envelopes. I love envelopes and I love it when they actually make them coordinate so you can see that they've got some nice um, insides to the envelopes here and they've got a rounded flap which is different and unique. Okay, here are our next three cards. So this uh, paper pumpkin coordinates with the meandering sweet meadows and then we've got some of these perforated elements here and then here's the third card. So they're all cards, some more perforated elements. And how cool is this? We've got some wood elements as well that we can use on our cards. So you just pop those out. And this almost is like a very thick vellum, but it's in purple. Very pretty. Okay, so here are the stamps here that we got. Um, this is the one that comes with the kit. And then this is our... Um, like a bonus happy birthday thank you for being a subscriber so have a beautiful birthday um, it's the little things that matter and heartfelt thanks and you've been on my mind so great sentiments beautiful little flower here and then you've got some alternate samples that they'll share with you on the back as well as um, all the kit uh, components and then the front just shows you the cards the cards look really easy to put together nice and simple that's beautiful. So I'll definitely have to put that together and try to come up with some alternate samples for this as well. So let's tuck all of this away. I love that. If you missed out on this kit, I do always subscribe for an extra kit. So reach out to me if you want my extra kit. Um, I can have you, I can mail that to you. Um, so there's that. Okay. So let me show you a couple more things. Uh, so I just got a order with the new kits collection. So each month we're going to come out with two new kits and this was the kit for this month, um, one of the kits. So it's super cute. It's um, the, It's got a little fish, a frog, and it looks like a shark and it's kind of like a game. So you've got these little pieces right here and um, <laughs> little googly eyes and anyways you put it together and you can like flip these little pieces into the mouths uh, for a little game so this is really fun and cute for your kids grandkids um, you can also use this maybe for scrapbooking so if this isn't something that you're interested in as for yourself you can either gift it or you can use it on a scrapbook page or something so that's really cute I won't open that yet and then I've got one more <clears throat> So let's take a look at this one. This one looks like a kits collection um, that's that doesn't have stamping again. So sometimes we'll have stamps included and sometimes we won't. When the stamps are not included, it's always so much cheaper uh, to purchase. So great, great value for this. Let's take a look at these projects. So just an easy way to create some really pretty cards. So here are the cards that you can create and whatever you see on the front is exactly what you're making. So you'll make three little note card um, size and then three each of these two card sizes which look like full card sizes. And let's see what we have here. Okay, so here's our printed card bases. And then you've got all these perforated pieces. Here are your sentiments. You're going to get sentiments in different languages. Okay, so that's just kind of how they come. But of course, if you're, um, you'll have your English in there as well. So I like to try to punch out the ones that are German and French. And if I have friends that are that speak German and French, give that to them as well. Okay, and then there you go. And here are the little note card sizes. Um, we've got some vellum vellum elements all of your envelopes that go with it, some more die cuts. So that would be a really fun and easy project to put together. Okay, I wanted to show you guys that little mini unboxing there of all of those new kits. Hopefully some of them piqued your interest. If they did, let me know. Or you can just hop over to my online store and do a little shopping for yourself. Um, here is the host code again. Here are the projects that we created today. If you're on my email as an email subscriber, you will get the measurements emailed to you with the still photo as well as the replay video. All right, guys, I hope you have a great, great week. I hope to craft with some of you this week, and I will see you all again soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.